witness a heck of a first inning before the rain delay for Washington. Riley Holtorf started out with a walk. She was on third base when Alana Johnson deposited one over the left center field fence for her team high seventh home run of the season. A two run shot for Johnson. That came with two outs, but the damage didn't stop. Washington put runners back on base. Brooke Nelson, RBI double scoring Kinsey Fiedler to make it three nothing. Next batter up, the catcher Sydney Stewart goes the other way for a single on another two strike count against Taylor Tinsley. That scored Olivia Johnson and that ended the outing for Taylor Tinsley through two thirds of an inning. Caitlin Terry came on and got Brooklyn Carter, but Washington. We welcome in our audience who was watching Arizona defeat Cal 9-5. A.J. Cannell, Natasha Watley here in Husky Softball Stadium in Seattle, where the Huskies put four runs on the board in the bottom of the first. And currently in game one of this series is due up next. Here's the pitch. That is in there. Malin freezes Woolery for the first out of the second. Watching her right now, just the presence that she carries on that male, and it seems like she's been here for seven years. And the precocious sophomore strikes out another. Pola swings through one for two outs. Tim, trying to be on time. Throws that one low and more out over the plate, and Kuro does take advantage of that offering and drills a base hit to right. She got that chance to extend her hands a little bit. Cool. To left field. That sends Hobson moving back and plays it off the wall. Relay throw coming home, and Washington limits the damage as Curro is sent away at the plate on the relay by Holtorf. Hobson to Holtorf to Stort on the putout. And so it is Caitlin Terry in there in her stead. And Holtorf, who leads off for the second straight inning. Look out, we saw Woolery almost collide with Malaulu. Not too many unoccupied seats at this point in the bottom of the second. Strike three. Hobson is sent away, the first strikeout of the game for UCLA pitching. In this lefty-lefty matchup, in the air, shallow right field and down. Megan Grant, who has played pretty deep, it looked like. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Alana Johnson homered her first time up. Other pitches, what about for Malin, who mostly is throwing heaters out there, as we're going to see first a 1-2. Didn't look difficult there, strike three. Didn't look difficult there, but I, I would say it's, it's the... Now a 2-2 coming after the new ball. Center fielder Carter taking charge for out number two. Career home runs. Currently one away from a tie for third in program history. She'll settle likely for two on this occasion. Brady gets herself in. I was gonna say, she's starting to pick up momentum as the raindrops are falling. Just looks confident out there, but Palacios drills that one. Charlize Palacios absolutely destroys a ball into the batter's eye in center field, and UCLA is back within a run. Um, a leader offensively for the Bruins. Next up, Megan Grant knocks one in the left. Now two down in the third, and the pitch up the middle. Holtorf does her job, and Washington keeps his status in the lead. The rain delay. Right back up the middle, and Fiedler is aboard. 
feels like UCLA has been leaning on Charlize Palacios a lot to control the run game. This is placed nicely by Olivia Johnson. Get her by half a step, but Johnson moves up Kinsey Fiedler to Sari. Throw back to second. And it is Fiedler running for third. Throw gets away. Washington scores a run. Kinsey Fiedler looked at the throw, headed back behind her, took off for third, and came all the way around. Taking a big lead off of second here. You can see her lead, and she knows as soon as that ball is thrown, she is taking off. And yeah, it, she gets deflected off of her, but she's making things happen, putting pressure on the defense. Now Nelson with the bases newly emptied, flares it out to Curro, two outs. Put the Huskies up five to three. Big swing by Stork, but she gets jammed. And Woolery comes in to make the catch. Put some bats on the ball and try to protect the plate. Strike three on the 12th pitch of the at bat. Have to act up. Yeah. That was, that was hit hard. Still be feeling that a little bit. <laughs> with, with, I will acknowledge, the cold and yes, stuff. Yes, yes. Curro swings and misses, going chasing right there. Nice pitch from Peters. Making that ball move. This is bunted by Malatwalu. Peters fielding her position well. Great play by Sydney Peters coming in. Carter waving there. Ball in the dirt, she makes it a close play at first, but Charlize Palacios, who's had to be on alert back for Tinsley, and has largely settled it down and contained Washington. Another pitch in the dirt on strike three, and once again, the strikeout for Caitlin Terry, including back-to-back. -back. Avery Hobson slaps it the other way for a base hit. And Terry taking a peek at the armband and the pitch. Ground ball up the middle, second base hit for Solis. Hobson slides into third, and Solis advances an extra base because of it. Two on, two out for the dogs. Runner instead, it's second and third for Alana Johnson. Dribbles it, tough play from shortstop. Brady throws her out just in time. Maya Brady charging the ball and holding Washington off. Offensive categories, I mean, she's got so much power and consistent. This inning starts with the top of the UCLA order, so Brady is due up. Been and, you know, we want to have more ducks on the pond. Alchin, a deep left field. Hobson underneath it for the second out. Maya Brady, ground ball to Solis. And a 1-2-3 inning back-to-back -back for Sydney Peters. Have her get that experience because the worst thing for a pitcher after you get hit is the next day. Fiedler puts a ride into this one over the center field fence. Kinsey Fiedler goes deep for the dogs and makes it a 6-3 ball game with her fifth home run of the season. Fiedler, I mean, she is having such a good year offensively. I mean, just the production that she is putting up at the plate. And you know Coach Tar talks about developing players and just seeing Fiedler just come into her own and being so confident and comfortable at the plate. Winning in 2009, the NCAA championship. No one has more titles than UCLA with 12 NCAA titles and the 1978 AIAW. Having some good pitch selection right now. And the speed on first and Gardner, ball four. Close pitch it looked like from up here. Maybe we have to see another look at it to know, but. Go right up. This is bunted by Stort. Both runners move up with nobody out. 31 at bats, hitting 258. 
Pinch hitting for Carter. Here it comes, strike three. Terry coming home. Dribbler right back to Terry, turns, throws, and sends away Holtorf to keep the Bruins in this game. Washington, though, still in control. They add a run. Power hitting catcher with the 3 2 count. And ball four, just high. And interesting, you looked so far at the outing for P in UCLA's previous Pac 12 series in game two. They entered the seventh inning down 5 4. This one gets away from the catcher. And again, they made a change there. Through her first two innings of work, now walks a batter, is down 3-0, and that's nowhere close. So, man, it's it's tough. I mean, you just wonder about the obvious. P Peters has been great, but just maybe having trouble adjusting to the different conditions, and we have seen three straight walks. The tying run is on base. UCLA after three straight walks. Allowed by Peters. Right back up the middle, a chance for two. And Holtorf turns it for Washington. UCLA scores a run, but the tying run is erased from the base paths in the process. Absolutely perfect outcome for Washington. And just a clutch play, and you can see the middles are staying back on this play, playing for a double play. Holtorf does a great job of just taking that herself, knowing where she is in relation to it. Right in there for strike three. Brooke Nelson comes in and shows her two-way capability. Has to become the third arm. This is lashed hard to third. And Hobson reaches base, nearly an impossible play for Malauulu to go cleanly. She looks to be okay as well. Another 0-2. Solis hits it to right. And in position, Megan Grant. Terry's gotten her though both times that Terry has faced her. Johnson lifts it, deep center field, all the way back to the track. And Janelle Mayonio is there. Tagging up is Hobson heading to second with two outs. Pitch to Fiedler. Hits to Brady. Scoops it with the backhand. And Maya Brady has shown off the sparkling defense a couple of different times. Laulu, the number nine hitter, who had an RBI double earlier. Slaps it towards short. Holtorf, I don't know if she was going to get Malau anyway. Dip. Ground out, strike out, fly out to start today for Mayonio. In the dirt, runner moving up. And Malau advances to second on a wild pitch. Power hitters coming up. It's now full from Nelson. Slap towards second, hard charge. Solis gets it done. It was like they never were separated. <laughs> Alchin to center field, out number two. Malaulu comes in to score, but Washington happy to trade that for the second out, and it will be my one. Dribble towards short, Holtorf on the charge, close at first, and out. Riley Holtor throws out Brady, but hold your horses. We will see a challenge here, no doubt. You have, I mean, Riley Holtorf did everything she could, but in addition to everything else in the skill set for Brady, she's got speed as well. Her uncle called her the best athlete in the family. <laughs> But also working into the unknown with a new arm. Coming in there, and Brady, the tying run, advances to second. Grant either. Ball four. Brady taken off her third. Close play. Out is the call. This one will likely be reviewed as well. Third base umpire, Mark Craver, making the call as Brady got greedy. Let's take a look. What do you think? 
I think this is a close play. And, you know, just a good read by Brady, but just a gutsy timing to do that. If you're not sure, you got to be 100% sure. That ball just didn't get far enough away from uh, Johnson. So the other thing to keep in mind is that they have other camera angles that we're not necessarily seeing. And they might have to match a couple of them up. I have a feeling if they do, they might overturn this. Yeah. Yeah. They do overturn the call. Maya Brady at first for Palacios as the go-ahead run. The pitch to Grant swings and misses. Lindsey Lopez shuts the door on UCLA in game one. A huge win for the home dogs. On both sides. We got to go to some baseball from Los Angeles, USC, UCLA for Natasha Watley, our entire crew, AJ Cannell saying so long from Seattle.